I think jazz in the UK has always needed to remain very close to a social context. You know, if you look at the times that it enjoyed immense popularity, you're looking at a time in the 1950s where trad jazz took off. If you look at what Courtney Pine and the Jazz Warriors did in the 80s, there was a, a very strong association of the music to identity and framing the music identity as black British jazz musicians. So the music requires and attains potency when it's connected to real social issues. We probably had a litany of more real social issues over the past five years than at any time I can remember in my, in my, in my lifetime. You know, cuts to music education services, austerity, all these really really severe things that musicians in the artistic classes are, are grappling to deal with. And I, I'm looking forward to a time when jazz re-engages its, its roots in terms of being connected to what's happening in society and not just the pursuit of intellectuals and ivory towers, you know. The music should be connected to dance. It should be connected to issues of identity politics. It should be connected to uh, issues of, of society and, and how we feel about each other. So I'm excited about the future, actually, for all those reasons.